This is a how-to tutorial on replacing the engine water pump. So this is a 2013 Chevy Volt and the water pump is below this air intake, below that engine bracket. Um, so yeah, we're going to take off the air intake, the engine bracket, and then that will expose the uh, water pump down below. First step is to uh, disconnect the 12 volt battery, which is in the trunk. So we'll head back here. 12 volt battery is back here underneath this plate. All right, so we will do that here in a second. Alright, next thing we'll do is we'll just put a little uh, rag underneath there so it doesn't touch. We'll just kind of separate it like that just so it doesn't accidentally touch while we are disconnected. The next step is to disconnect the high volt fuse, which is in the armrest area. So you just pull this little guy out here. And it is underneath this. Or at least mine is. I don't know if they're all like this, but it's this like little white foamy thing. And then just pull it out like that. So high volt battery is now disconnected. Alright, next up is to remove their air intake assembly. So we'll start by unplugging the sensor. Undo the hose clamp. So it's got these uh, kind of little uh, pins, guiding pins, and this rubber, rubber grommet here that secures it in place. Now we can see the water pump there and the engine bracket. So that engine bracket is the next thing we need to remove. So the next thing we need to do is remove that engine bracket, but we need to support the engine. And I'm going to choose to support it from above. I have a cherry picker, so I'm just going to remove this um, valve cover, plastic valve cover. This is these are T30s. Also, this hose. Over here, so valve cover is off. Take a pressure washer to that. So we have a supporting bracket here and here. I was hoping I could avoid jacking up the car, but the Volt sits so low, the cherry picker would not slide under there. So I did end up having to jack up this side. I've got a floor jack and then a uh, uh, just a, a standard jack holding it up for extra support. 
and I'm going to hook up the uh, two engine brackets to the cherry picker and then we'll unload the uh, engine a little bit before we remove that engine bracket. All right, these are 15 millimeter bolts. So there's one more on the back side. Looks like there's two on the side here now that we gotta remove. Now there's a third one down below. Unfortunately, I gotta remove this splash card because I cannot reach that lower bolt on the engine mount. So there it is. <sighs> Got it removed. I'm missing one of these little tabs, but you can see that they're um, pressed in up here into those little tabs. So they're kind of hard to remove. All right, with the cover removed, you can finally get access to that lower engine bolt. Alright, I finally broke it loose. And you might be able to do it from above, but I could not get it started. So I did go from below and I used a 12 point instead of a 6 point to get a little bit different leverage. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taking that out. So it looks like I need to remove these two little brackets to lower these coolant lines and clearance. So you can see the coolant puddle right down there underneath the water pump. All right, you're supposed to uh, drain the coolant. I'm going to go ahead and leave it because I don't want to drain it all. Um, the whole coolant system was flushed 10,000 miles ago, so I don't want to go through that whole process again. Um, I will probably have some a check engine light for a while for... Um, air bubbles in the coolant system but they should work themselves out so next step is uh, removing the water pump pulley nuts So yeah, there's a closer up uh, of the evidence of it leaking. Next up is to remove this sensor and inlet. So there's a sensor and I'm going to remove that.
Next up is this the rear hose. So here is the new water pump. I'm going to take the bolts out and put them in their respective holes so I don't get anything screwed up. Alright, next I'm going to transfer this thermostat over to the new water pump because this thermostat is only has a couple or 10,000 miles on it. Transfer the bolts over. Alright, I'm gonna clean this surface off. Next up is installing the new belt and pulley. Alright, this was very difficult to get on. I ended up in this crescent wrench on here and turning this like so and get it on there but it was not easy <laughs> Next up is to reinstall this hose. 